Next news is out of India. A man shot in Bihar's Bugasari for Muslim name as attacker shouts, go back to Pakistan. Uh, Mohammed Kozim, a, deter a detergent salesman in Kumbi village, was allegedly shot after he was asked his name in Bugasari district of Bihar. He identified his attacker as Rajiv Yadav, and he was said and he said he was drunk at the time of the incident. In quotes, he says, uh, "I was stopped by Rajiv Yadav and asked, and he asked me my name. When I told him my name, he said you should go back to Pakistan, and then shot me. The police have registered an FIR, but but the accused has not been arrested yet." Um, the AIMIM chief Asaudin Asawi. Uh, blamed the BJP leadership for the brazen attack and said Muslims have been reduced to target practice in the country. Yeah, so a lot of people ignore the, the way Muslims are treated in India because they're only obsessed with how Muslims are treated by Israel and in white countries, right? But this is one of the most you know, populated countries in the world when it comes to Muslim population. Even though Muslims are a minority there, it, the country is so big that... It still ha has more Muslims than most countries, right? Um, and Muslims are now being treated like second-class citizens. And I know what Hindus like. What, as soon as this goes out, people are Hindus are going to come like, "Oh, fake news, fake news. This is fake news." Again, treat every single news that you get with some level of skepticism because you, we can't be sure ex if it's one hundred percent accurate, right? We just go by Occam's razor and say this is probably true, but there's always a chance that something a chance that something being has been misreported. So just take that into account. But the the amount of anti-Muslim discrimination in India is rising. The recent election is going to only make that worse. And every time we're going to bring attention to it, there's going to be both Hindus and culturally Hindu atheists that would deny this. A lot of anti-Islamic uh, activists in India have lost their mind and now become, they have turned into anti-Muslim bigots instead of just anti-Islam. Uh, and they see all of this as fair and they see all of this as self-defense. We're going to call it out as we see it. And unfortunately, I think it's going to increase. Let's see if Sobham has something to say about this. You... Well, really quick before you get to what Sobham has to say, because I think he's got um, some great things to say. But um, I just want to point out, like, as you were saying, we're going to see this start starting to rise. Uh, we have this is actually the third incident in the last week. Um, three Muslim youths were thrashed by cow vigilantes in Madhya Pradesh on May 22nd over the suspicion that they were carrying beef. And on Saturday, a Muslim man in Guragram was attacked by a gang that knocked off his skull cap and demanded that he chant G Shri Ram. So this is this is happening like. And, and they're reporting this. People are, are finally, the, the the problem is that there's a lot of people who are being attacked um, and they are reporting this, but things aren't being happened or the reports are getting lost. So from what we can see, this stuff has been on the rise. Um, and even in the rise in the last week, we've seen three reports come out from Muslims saying, you know, we're being attacked over here. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. All right. What is Subham saying? Um, he's... Uh, He's saying that India has the third largest Muslim population after Indonesia and Pakistan. Yes, which, even though they're a minority, it's crazy. Like, still, there is, Muslims are a minority, but they're still the third, uh, you know, number three when it comes to number of, uh, number of Muslims in, a, in one country, which is unbelievable. Yeah, Subham also agrees that this kind of stuff is probably going to increase in the next five years due to the newest election, probably. Right. Um, let me just see. By the way, I do want to do a... Ajahn is saying, just saw your video on Sikh Night. Oh, guys, keep keep your comments on this, what we're talking about. Subham is saying, third reported incident. There are probably way more. Also, I did comment some news in the comments section from last week. Uh, but, uh, yeah, An is Anna checking the comments, Ali? Oh, uh, she knows too. So I'll, I'll get with her. I'll okay. make sure. I just want to do a correction. Uh, let me actually, before... I do that let's look at the top comment nick nicholas saying it's funny how many hindu nationalists crawled out of the woodwork here to justify this one yeah that's what happens every time no, it, the yeah. last last week you and i reported um on some news and we've been getting emails and messages 
nonstop wanting to know why we're reporting fake news, why uh, we're talking about Hindu atheists. Um, so I just wanted to point that out there. So we're actually taking a brunt of this just for reporting, yeah. some, just for reading something that somebody else even wrote. Yeah, so just reporting on Hindu, on Muslim crimes gets... Uh, you know, I think some of these Hindus are the most sensitive. So the most, I think here the most sensitive people I've met that we that just reporting in news will make them go, uh, you know, come at and get angry, right? So yeah. I think Muslims are extremely sensitive. Uh, regressive leftists, uh, Trump supporters, and Hindu nationalists. All right, these are the people that just. That could just lose their mind just by reporting the news, right? right. These are the most four most sensitive groups I've met online, um, and yeah. But Chris it, Hightower joined our chat. I just oh, want to yeah. say hi. That's great. Um, let me see. Er, Endrick N K K S A. Oh, by the way, here's the excuse that Hindu nationals will give: at least we will not cut your head off for criticizing us. And they like, right. yeah, and like as if that's a new standard. Like, oh, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Here's a medal for not beheading people. We should make a medal. We should actually make an actual medal, a medal for not wanting to behead people and just like post a picture of it every time they say, at, every least, at least we don't behead people. Uh, oh, wow. Congratulations for not beheading people. Good for you. <laughs> um, Sam Sun is saying too many Hindu atheists here. Yeah, Hindu atheists. I know a lot of people see that as a contradiction, but there are a lot of atheists that still consider themselves Hindu by culture that get that lose their mind every time we cover news like this. Uh, oh, look, this is Rudra is saying nice. This is probably one of those Hindu atheists is commenting, and he the number one reaction he got is a heart. So he got. Six hearts for this, probably mostly by wow. uh, here, yeah. Six hearts mostly by other Hindu nationalists. Jesus Christ, this is crazy. See, this is what this is what the regressive lefts dream of for happening in North America and in Europe. Like this is the rise of the alt right. The real rise of the alt right is mostly happening in India. Um and I'm pretty sure I'm the most of the regressive leftists are jealous because they want to be able to have something to complain about. And they wish, like, you know, this is... Anyways. Uh, we're, we're saying this is fake. Oh, this is fake news! By another, <laughs> look at this. Fake news! Fake yeah. news by another Hindu nationalist. Of course it's hand, uh, fake news because you don't like it. So wait, but how come some... This is the... Actually, this is... The, these Hindu nationalists have to get their story straight because half of them don't say this is fake news they say this is the real news but it's a good thing that happened <laughs> the other half is like no this is fake news so right. so is it i don't know it's, it's i don't know yeah um <laughs> muska muska is making fun of me because i made i mentioned trump so now i'm american centric oh okay, okay fair enough Mus, fair enough you got, you got it, it. subhan is saying also hindu extremists have killed people for eating beef yeah we reported that last week didn't we um gv saying soft bigotry has gone mainstream some of my relatives voted for B bjp for people that don't know bjp is the hindu nationalist party in india because they felt hindus were losing their power in india yep this is very unfortunately secularism and atheism and humanism is being defeated in india is getting shittier and shittier yeah but yes we do recognize that it's still better than pakistan but that's a very that's a very low standard so you don't get a medal for that atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. 
انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.